welcome back on this Sunday afternoon and we are trying to get some transport a CNG to a place called Purbachal Blue Lake which is a few miles east of Uttara where I'm staying and even on a Sunday look at that still traffic chaos here so we're gonna to have to wander around see if Akash or Fahadi can find a CNG to take us there doesn't look like they want to go that way <laughs> Now I believe that my cousin Fahadir has secured a CNG so we're now looking for him I believe that he's up ahead somewhere so Akash is leading the way there he is there he is okay so now to get inside this mini cage in effect So just got to climb in there, should be easy enough, as you can see that, oh, a bit cramped. Gosh. They actually lock you in, I'll just show you the lock now. It's for safety purposes this lock, so because I believe that several years ago there used to be bags snatched from people because it was all open, so it's just a good security measure. They don't lock you in permanently, <laughs> or either that. They only let you out once you pay your fare at the other end. That must be it. <laughs> and we're finally moving, but only a metre. Or did I speak too soon? Oh, it looks like it. We're moving a bit more. And stopped again. And starting again. <laughs> oh, another one on the side always hitting us. I'll give you a view through the gap of the cage in the back. If you can see that. I know it's very obscuring and annoying but unfortunately you have to live with it in this country. Being a CNG driver takes so much skill because look at that there are so many near misses. I've rarely seen any accidents as such and some of the vehicles can get within millimeters without even a scratch. So fair dues to them. That's the way of life here. So we're getting out to the CNG there. There's been a bit of a disagreement with the driver because he's not taking us all the way there. So unfortunately, we're gonna to have to find an alternative mode of transport to get there. Because it's getting a bit late now. So we're sort of in the middle of nowhere. It's a bit barren, road work's going on, but there are alternate forms of transport. There's tom-toms, there's CNGs. So we're going to see what we can get to arrive at this elusive blue lake. So we are now on our second form of transport. We're on a Tom Tom heading the last few miles and my cousin Fahadi was very angry at the treatment of that CNG driver towards us because he'd agreed at a certain price to take us there and then he decided that he wasn't going to take us all the way which was rather unfair but the CNG driver actually said that he misheard him he actually accused my cousin of saying that he said something else 
Mohamed Milan is our dutiful Tom Tom driver. It will be a little bit slow to get there, but we will make it there in one piece, safe and sound. That's me in the mirror. <laughs> and there's a lot of new construction going on here as well. So Bangladesh is getting more and more developed as days go by. And we have finally made it. Um, this is it. I didn't expect a bit of a fairground there. And I hope that this music isn't copyrighted. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll end up with a bit of a strike on YouTube or whatever. Thank you. So just down by the lake, I've just flown the drone. I got the attention of these local gentlemen. So I had better introduce you to them. You're all from around here, are you? Afnara Ikontagin Naki. And tell me your names. Sharif Hoshan. Mohammad Enamul Hoshan. Anand Milan. Mohammad Rifat. MD Rabiul Khan. Mohammad Mohsaduk. One, two, three. Please, Please like, like and subscribe. And subscribe. Don't know bad. Welcome. <laughs> So that was rather interesting with those young gentlemen there. They came over out of curiosity, but thank goodness it was nothing like Tongi yesterday. Oh my goodness, that was a headache. It was crazy. And I thought my life was in danger. Well, not to that extreme anyway. So now we're gonna go for a wander around the lake, see what it has to offer. It is basically just for tourism, but I've come all this way anyway. May as well have a gander. So I didn't get the full gist of the drama which ensued with the CNG driver earlier. So Akash is going to explain exactly what happened from the beginning. Uh, we set our CNG for about 380 taka from Uttara to Blue Lake Purbachal. Just in the middle of the road, he denied to come further to this end. So there was some bargaining between Fahadibai and the CNG driver and also with me. So we just solved the issue and give him the full fare and we ended our journey, I think, I guess... The edge of the model town. Exactly, yeah. the edge of the model town and we then started our journey again through the TomTom. -tom. So the TomTom -tom driver saved our day, uh, which exactly, you saw in the exactly. footage. 
It's the time of the day now where it really is peaceful as we're making the transition from afternoon to evening. And there's a few of these cafes dotted about the place. There's his sign. If anyone can read it, drop a comment below with the translation. And some street food as well. He has that wrapped up in cling film, thank goodness. Keeps all the dust and the flies off it. And this gentleman here is fishing, so let's get a closer look. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, son. Master of Sunni Aska. So he's just started, he hasn't caught anything, so I wish him the best of luck. Don't know about And it's time for the call to prayer because it's now a sunset. And here's another cafe serving some excellent barbecue delights here. It looks like tandoori chicken there on the hot coals. And there's some more barbecue delights there. And this gentleman there is handling the bread department. And we have some fish. And a crab, first of its kind I've seen over here. And there's some customers here at this store. They're interested in being in my vlog. Afra Namki. And what's the name of this little lovely boy? Salkan. Salkan. Pleased to meet you, Salkan. <laughs> and what's your name? My name is Ismul. Ismul. Pleased to meet you. And your sister? Ashwarna. 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 So we decided to order some food from that stall which had some lovely barbecue delights. So I've had a Malay chicken here. You can see that there. Oh, it's dripping with juices. It's delicious. Some local bread. What's this bread called, Akash? Uh, Rumali bread. Rumali bread, okay. Rumali bread. With a little bit of salad there and some sauces. Right, so I better tuck into it before it gets cold. So don't forget to like and subscribe. That is it from me, Rue, for this episode. Join me on the next one. Till then, bye.